Hey guys, welcome back to another Bobby Pins Artist Spotlight. Today I present to you celebrity stylist and boutique owner Shatava Lindsay of Hourglass Boutique. If you recall, last year for the BET Soul Train Awards, I actually was clothed by Hourglass and I'm so excited to catch up with Shatava this year to talk about her latest collection. I've also got a special discount for you guys or whatever, so y'all can go ahead and click the link in my bio, click that referrals link and go ahead and buy up, okay? Uh, Shatava is live and in the building, so we're going to pull her up. If you're new here, you already know the deal. Go ahead and head over to my Celebrity Artist Spotlight playlist on IGTV. Am I on? You are on. You're sideways, but you here. <laughs> Let me turn it. Let me turn it because I tried to do, I tried to be extra glam and, and there put it my... Is. Am I good now? Yes, you look great, gorgeous. Okay, let me try to let me sit it up a little bit because I had it set up a different way. And... <laughs> okay, there we go. Bam, in the right. building, looking flawless, darling. How are How you? How are you? Good. It's such a pleasure to connect with you. I know. You know, it's so crazy because I I just jumped on, but um. I had a chance to style you for the Soul Train Awards, and you look yes. so oh, that pink dress that you wore was so beautiful. You look so good, and you took all the perfect pictures. Baby. So, <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that so much. No, I appreciate you. I had to do right by you. Uh, that was sort of a last-minute hookup, and that really says a lot about you and your support, how you love on other sisters, and you make sure that we look good. So because you looked out for me, baby girl, I had to make sure I took care of you. And not only did you give me a look, you gave me two looks. Yes, I did. That Come. red suit was bad. <laughs> yeah, you look so good in it. I just like, you know, you're going to be on the red carpet. And with yeah. me, I'm all about wardrobe. So I want to make sure you look your absolute best wherever yeah. you're going. Like whenever I style people, I tell them, like, tell me where you're going. Tell me what you want to do. So I can put my little spin on. Okay, I know you're telling me what you want, but then let me put your Tava's little spin on it. Exactly. So extra flair. So, you know, so yeah. Yes, yes. No, and you always hit the nail on the head. So I always ask my guests to go ahead, just give us a little brief intro, and then we're going to dig deeper into your story because you got a lot going on here. Like, you are very impressive, and I love it. Yes. <laughs> so, hi, guys. My name is Shatava. I'm the owner of Hourglass. And Hourglass is spelled O-U-R-G-L-A-S-S. -S. I'm a designer. I make clothing for women with curves. I love how women are confident, how we embrace our curves, and we're unapologetically ourselves. So I'm all about designing for that confident woman, that woman wants to be bold. And I also offer boutique items as well. So if you don't want or you don't have the time to get something custom made, then you can go to my boutique section where items are already readily made. So um, definitely, I just dropped my new collection, which is my Dripped in Graffiti collection. It was so hard. This year. Yeah, due to COVID, it's so hard to get um, custom items created. But I had to do so many different things. I had to go down so many different avenues just to get this line complete. So I'm so excited about it. I, I'm really excited. First of all, great rollout. I've been watching your videos, your promos and everything. You always do great photos, but you're getting into the multimedia space. I see you, sis. I'm, I'm <laughs> so to talk really, to me. You know what? I'm, I'm really a behind the scenes. Like, I'm a sewer. I'm a designer. I'm a creator at heart. So I, I try to be behind the scenes. But then, like, if I get a new outfit in, if I, get, if I create something, it's like, Shatava, go ahead and jump in there. And, and just take the photos before you get and then it ends up that I'm being the model for my own <laughs> brand so I try to stay behind the scenes but then you know as a CEO you kind of got to play different roles so I just kind of jump in wherever I'm needed baby girl you're the model <laughs> don't get it twisted <laughs> look that peak number you put me in I was like this is not going to look right on me I tried it on it did fit me great but it didn't look nothing like it looked on you oh my god <laughs> See, that's what people say. That's what I get a lot of, too, because what I do now is I try to get different women with different body types just so I can show what this particular outfit looks like on a different body type. I hate showcasing me all the time because everybody's like, Jatava, 
I'm not gonna look like you in it. Like it's not gonna feel <laughs> like that. So I try to pull myself out of it. I know the visual that I have, but I try to pull myself out of it just so I can be more of the CEO and the, the designing and the business aspect of it versus everything. Yeah, that makes yeah, no. I mean, this is the day of the, the solopreneur, so I don't think anything is wrong with that. But I definitely right. do want you to dig deeper into some of the people that you've styled, some of the projects that you've worked on. Oh, yeah. So definitely my biggest, I really love the show Sister Circle. I, I played a huge role in styling Selena Johnson, Quad. Um, yeah, just all of them on set. I played a huge role in styling them. That was so different and so dope because all of their body types were so different. Um, so it was really a challenge, not just a challenge, but I like to challenge myself and creating things for different body types. So um, that was also nice. And then just the ladies, I'm, I'm pretty much designing for your everyday woman. I want every, you know, everyday women out there to feel that you're beautiful no matter what size you are. So just as I'm styling for different celebrities, I want to style for the everyday woman too that has an event, that has a birthday that has something going on, she know that she can come to me, we can come to Hourglass, and we got something for all different body types. I'm really big on making sure I encompass all of those body types, whether small or plus size, just because we all want to feel beautiful in our own way. Absolutely. And I'm telling you, you nail it. Like I said, those looks took me out of my comfort zone, but I, I'm not making this up. I'm not just saying this. When I put the pieces on, it's like yeah. some kind of spirit of a bad bitch took <laughs> over. Like, <laughs> it got you, right? It got yes. you. <laughs> but I get a lot of women saying, like, I know when they used to come into my boutique store, they would say, all I want to do is wear black. And I'm like, really? You just want to wear black? So I will always try to push the envelope a little bit with everyone and try to push them into something else. Not, I know everybody has a comfort zone and a kind of go-to of outfit that they like to wear. But I love to kind of push you, especially like if you're an artist or if you're someone in media like yourself and you're trying to create a brand for yourself, like what does your brand look like? What is your identity? And for me as a stylist and me as a designer, trying to create that identity for you. So that's like a challenge yeah. on me, but something that I love to take on. Yes, and you nail it. You nail it. Thank um, you. So also, we might recognize you because some people might be looking at this and like, I haven't seen her on TV before. <laughs> you were yes. also on uh, on TV's Ready to Love. So yes. talk to me about that experience. Um, you know what? It's so crazy because I'm such a private person. And, you know, I, I say this to so a lot of people that ask me that question is, I applaud all the ladies and all the guys that go on reality TV season after season and kind of put themselves out there. I applaud them because you really do have to be grounded in who you are when you get to the television realm of the world, like people, um, people can be really mean, people can be really cruel. And I just learned that even from talking to my other cast members from, you know, being around television to seeing the feedback, everybody's not going to always cheer you on, you know what I mean? But as long as you're grounded in who you are, um, you know, it's, it's a bunch of noise and you don't allow that noise to conflict on how you feel about yourself. So yeah. Different. I, I definitely met some beautiful ladies um, on the show. We're all still friends. We still talk to this day. And I just um, really appreciate being around women that really go after their goals and have their have everything together. Because those girls on the show, honey, they had it together. We all had it together. <laughs> you know, I appreciate being walking to a room full of women who just got their business together. That It was just an amazing room, and they're just so dope. Yes, yes. No, I, I love watching you kind of like step into this space because we've also seen you on TOC say yes to the dress, yes. darling. You are getting all your press clips and your TV Girl, appearances. Listen, <laughs> listen, wherever I'm needed, look, I am say yes to the dress was my um my actually my co-star from Ready to Love, Courtney Larissa, very dear friend to me. I love her to death. I was one of her bridesmaids and she's looking to me as a fashion expert, like, I need you to help me with my dress. And of course, I'm very honest. Sometimes I'm a little too honest. But when it comes <laughs> to the fact, you ask my opinion for a reason, and I'm going to give you what I think. So um, it was a really good time. Say so yes to the dress was, was really dope. It was cold in New York that particular week. <laughs> 
got it done and it was a um i love the episode it was so tough y'all check it out look up say yes to the dress i forgot what season i have to ask ernest what season it was but um <laughs> yes the most recent season it was this first episode so yes check it out okay okay now correct me if i'm wrong but i feel like are you also in real estate yes so okay I'm a female, I'm a black female that believes in multiple streams of income yes, because I feel like our community, in order for us to grow, we have to figure out a way, one, to stop playing the rat race in the nine to five. And I'm not against people working to nine to five because I, 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 I understand that you have, a, you have to have a foundation to build on. So I'm not the person to tell people to just quit their nine to five. I just tell people to use their nine to five as a crutch to work on something else. So while you're yes. working hours at a job, you can finish that job and you can work on something of your own. Don't feel like you have to quit altogether because all these entrepreneurs are pushing you and saying, forget the nine to five, you know, just go after it and be this entrepreneur. Uh, okay, but who's going to pay your bills? You know what I'm saying? So you have to have a solid plan on how you're going to be able to do that. So with me, I believe solely on multiple streams of income. So along with being a fi fashion designer and, you know, a boutique owner, I also own um, a lot of real estate. So right now I'm in Detroit, Michigan, flipping houses. I have five houses out in Michigan right now that I'm working on turning over and flipping whether, whether or not I'm renting them out or um, reselling them or wholesaling or whatever. I'm really, really big in real estate because that's a lot of where my finances come from. So my real estate business really finances my fashion business along with the support and the love that I get from all of my people, my family, my friends. Um, I just, I love my people to death because they're really hard supporters. So I really appreciate that. Yes, no, that was perfect. That was exactly where I wanted you to go with that. As much as we encourage people to chase, chase their dreams, there's strategy behind it. And it takes multiple streams of income to really be able to do that. So I absolutely wanted you to touch on that. How is it possible that this young, beautiful woman has this amazing boutique? She designs her own clothes. She also yes. has ready-made wear. Like, how does she do that? Well, because she also has another stream of income by way of real estate. So salute to you for just showing us the way. Yeah. And, you know, when I first, my first boutique store, I was working full-time. I was working a job full-time. And it's so crazy because it was something that I really wanted to do for a long time. I told myself, you know, I'm going to open this store and I'm going to be this entrepreneur and I don't have to have no job no more. So I prayed. I said, God, you know, I, I just, this is what I want to do. Like you're putting me in this realm of what I want to do. Like I want this job to be my last job. Right. Yes. And then two weeks later I got laid off. So I was like, wait a minute, God, you know, um, I know we talked about this, but you didn't say it was going to be, <laughs> two weeks i was thinking you know what i'm saying like a year from now okay <laughs> you know let me get into the groove of things and then i can be like okay i'm gonna exit my job but it was like no i was really pushed into entrepreneurship and just having to understand what i'm gonna do to be able to make this money and i start listening to a lot of podcasts a lot of people that are heavy into um wealth building and building up the community and just thinking of different things that I can do to capitalize off my situation. So I became this ultimate hustler. I mean, I got business cards, like, you know, I would pass out 50 business cards a day. And if the day went by, if it was like seven, eight o'clock and I hadn't passed out 50 cards, I would go back out and pass out more and making sure that I'm spreading the word because closed mouths don't get fed, honey. You have to somebody what you do and somebody's going to believe in what you do and they're going to support you for that for sure no i think another thing that you touched on or i want to dig deeper into is that sometimes when we don't make the decision that we need to make the universe mm -hmm. god will make it for us and that's what right. it sounds like happened like you were probably ready even though you didn't feel ready you right. were ready yeah and god was like okay Right. Your wish is my command. Bam, let's go. How you gonna act? Right. And I'm I'm happy to hear that you jumped into it. <laughs> right. right. And you have to be careful what you pray for. You know, be, be prepared. <laughs> when you say, you know, God, this is gonna be my last job after this, I'm gonna take this on a hundred percent and I'm gonna be this entrepreneur. Like when you speak that, like I really do believe in speaking things into existence because when you put it in your head, you're planting seeds yeah. that these 
these things are going to happen into your life. So the more I, I really believe, the more you speak on things, the more you um, talk about things, the more you're pretty much planting that seed in your head that mm -hmm. this is something that has to happen for me. And I really do believe if it's something that you want to go after, keep speaking on it, keep talking about it. Like, you don't have to tell everybody about it. But I believe in having a good support system of people that really understand you, that can tell you, yeah, you crazy, or no, <laughs> you know, this may work. And if you are crazy, if y'all telling me I'm crazy, you're explaining to me why I'm crazy. You know what I mean? Don't Constructive like criticism. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, listen, I thrive off when somebody tells me I can't do something, listen, I'm going to, listen, I'm going to work yes, so hard. Yes, same. Do it because they're telling me I can't. So it becomes a challenge to me to challenge myself just because you said I can't, I want to work that much harder and I want to do it and I'm going to master it. So that's just where my thought process goes. Yes. No, I love it. I, I, I love that spirit, that tenacity. When we linked up, we already knew this was a good match. Um, <laughs> so I definitely would like for you to, to explain a little bit more. What do you think have been the keys of success for you to stay in business for this long? Because sometimes people launch boutiques or, or projects businesses mm -hmm. and they can't really maintain it i think they say the average business bombs after like a year yeah so what well, do you think has been your staying power how have you avoided that i think you have to celebrate the small things the little wins and it helps you prepare your mind for the big wins like a lot of people think success just happens overnight and when you start something you should next day or next week or next month be successful at it but you really have to train your mind for that success and prepare yourself for that success. So I tell people all the time, even when you're starting your business, like when you're getting your LLC, when you order your business cards, like with clothes, when you order your trims, when you start your next sketch, like be proud of those things and, and pat yourself on the back for even the little things that you do. Yeah. Because you don't realize that those little things that you took the time to the patience and you gave yourself that much patience to take that on when it becomes something big you've already planted the seeds and put those small things in place so it's going to be that much smoother when you get to a different level so it's not like you can just pass all the little steps to get to these big steps because you ain't put in the work and a lot of yeah. people think happens and they don't have to put in the work yeah sometimes it does you see overnight successes but that doesn't happen for everyone so if that's something that's not happening for you what are you prepared to do to get yourself to that success level and i think people need to start to think about that and start to understand that success be happy for your small things girl you got your llc in the mail hello this yeah is that's thing. big I, got, I just got my business. You know how long it takes to design a business card if you ain't paying somebody to do it? You better yeah. celebrate that business card that you got in the mail and now you can pass out to somebody. So it's just about celebrating even the small things and those big accomplishments. I mean, you're going to celebrate them, but you're going to appreciate the small things even more. I'm sorry I talk so much. No, this is, this is you answered the question perfectly, girl. This yes. is what I want. This is what this platform is. Not only is it to celebrate the person that I'm interviewing, but it's also for them to share and pass that wisdom along to the next person. So I appreciate it and I value what you're saying. And I'm looking at the comments, girl, they eating it up too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. Y'all ask me some questions. I'm all about business conversations and people being successful and us, especially as black people helping each other out because we're so yeah. powerful numbers i know a lot of people feel like they can't share any share information but it, we grow by helping each other out and i think when we start having that um crab in a barrel mentality where i want it Come all on. for myself so much money out here for everybody and we can find little ways to help each other out and that's what we need to try to do a lot more of and that's how we get ahead because it's not yeah. about for you and what you're gonna do for me back well god is gonna bless you because you're taking that extra step to help somebody else in spite of you. So when you help somebody out despite of you, then that's when you start to grow and elevate. For sure, for sure. No, I, I just want to say this last little thing. Ernest, I see you nudging us, trying that's to get it. us back on track. We're going to talk about the collection. I, <laughs> you, Ernest. Ernest. I love <laughs> Ernest, I tell you, he keeps me, my life together. Yeah, no, he's amazing. He's a beautiful person. Um, but I, I want to touch on this little point before we get back to the clothing line, your, your most recent 
collection with Hourglass. Um, but as you were talking about celebrating those small victories, it reminded me I'm home for a little bit. I don't get to come home often. Um, but I was in the backyard with one of my friends and we were looking at a tree in the yard. About a big tree uh -huh. that's been somewhere for years. It starts off as a teeny tiny little itty bitty seed and intention. So I feel uh -huh. like that just goes to what you were saying. Like you said, all those little victories, all those little baby steps that you might overlook because it doesn't look like the big picture yet, it leads up to that. And if in that first step exactly. is more than the person who's just sitting there still thinking about it. So I just want right, to add exactly. that. <laughs> right and that's the thing too even taking that initial step like a, a lot of entrepreneurs or a lot i wouldn't even say entrepreneurs because they don't get to that stage but a lot of people don't get past the thought of this is what i want to do this is something i want to do okay a lot of people dm me and say stop it. i got this idea i want to do this well what have you done what steps have you taken to start the process of getting it done a lot of people don't even get to that next step so before you go and talk about it be about it. You know what I'm saying? Put in the work. Get you a notebook. I Listen, where's my notebook? Listen. Yes, notebook. Get you a notebook. Let me tell yes. you. In my life, and a lot of people are digital, people putting stuff in their phone, but I got so much stuff in my phone, it becomes clutter to me. So I get me a notebook and every single thing that I think about, because you'll never realize that a lot of things come to your head that you think about, but you'll forget. Like later on in the day, you're working on 10, 15 things and you don't forget. But guess what? Get you a notebook, honey, write mm -hmm. it down by day and make sure you're scratching those things off your list because that's when you're going to hold yourself accountable. Yeah. Even if you don't have anybody else to hold you accountable. You got to hold yourself accountable. That's nice. between God. God saying, okay, write it down. Okay. And okay, it's still written down. You ain't scratched it off yet. So I make yeah. sure I write it in red. Like I write it in red, but I scratch it off in blue. That means Shatava, okay, you need to get yourself together and get this scratched off and get to the next page. Yes. Game. She's giving y'all game. One of my favorite tweets from Erica Badu, I feel like it's something like, put the pen to paper and watch shit get real. And yes. I feel like that's so true. It's something, I take notes in my phone all the time as well, mm -hmm. but it's nothing like the feeling of it going into paper. If it, it manifests. You have no choice, like you said, but to revisit it and scratch it off. Right. Because you have to see it. You can't swap screens when it's on a piece of paper right in front of you. <laughs> and I told people, do it by year. At the beginning of the year, get you a notebook. Okay, 2021, this year been crazy. But listen, 2021, we're going to start all over, right? So you get you a notebook and you write down what you want to accomplish for 2021. Because we're almost there. We're about to be there. 2021. And every single day, you do something every day to get you to that bigger goal. And sometimes with these goals, I wow myself. Like I'm about to, I put goals in my book that I know, like I don't even know how I'm going to get to this. But you know what? You got 365 days in a year. To figure it out. And figure it out. Ask somebody. Mm -hmm. Go talk to somebody that you never thought you would talk to. You never know what you will learn. Yes. 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 If y'all not following sis, I'm just saying, she's a whole living inspiration. So make sure you follow her. And make sure you check out... <laughs> I'm sorry, what were you saying? No, I just want us all to be, just to think about things more so that we all can become more successful, make more money. Slow yeah. feet don't eat. Like you said, there's plenty, there's plenty, plenty out here. And I know you're going to rack them up with your graffiti collection available at Hourglass Boutique, yes. O-U-R Glass Boutique. So tell me about this collection. What was the inspiration behind it? And like, describe some of the pieces for me. Yeah, so the inspiration is so crazy because um, 2020 has been such a crazy year and it's just been filled with so many ups and downs and so much craziness, you know what I mean? So when I saw this graffiti print, I, I was thinking of, you know, this is something, this print right here is like everything that's going on with me in 2020. It's crazy. It's all over the place. It's bold. It's popping. So I took this print. I was like, you know what? This is going to be my 2020 collection to describe all the craziness that I'm going through. But I know how to put it all together and make something nice and cohesive with what I'm given. So I took this crazy fabric and it was bold. It was out of the box. And again, I'm all for women stepping out of that comfort zone and just being confident in whatever you wear. But I, I created this for the lady that's going to work, the lady that's going out. You're going on a date. Just, you know, you want to look good for yourself. I really wanted to create something. And also, again, 
um, encompass all the body types. So I made sure I made it for small women and plus size women. And I had, you know, make it for tall women. I just made sure I took the time because I had so much time during COVID to take my time with this collection that I wanted to make it so perfect and encompass even the comments that I get from my customers on, you know, Shatab, I would like to see this type of design. I would like to go crazy. Uh, one of my pieces in the Dripped and Graffiti collection is a blazer. And um, as a seamstress, I've never made a blazer before. But you know what I had this year? A lot of time. So I <laughs> took my time, a blazer, and I created these pants. And I, I was so hung up on some women are short, some women are tall, some women have curves in different places. So how am I going to make this collection for everybody to embrace different body types and i really do think i nailed it on the head with this dripping graffiti collection because it's something for everybody it's not just for your stars that you want to go out and you want to be flashy but it's for the everyday working woman she want to throw on a blazer with some cute jeans and just make a fashion statement that's what the dripping graffiti collection is about yes and you can go check out this collection as well as her other fire pieces at shop ourglass.com that's shop o-u-r glass.com use code bobby pen and save 15% at that I mean what other bloggers just hooking you up with zeals I'm just seeing put that coupon <laughs> code make sure y'all use the coupon code bobby pen yes. right now and get 15% off I'm telling you once you put this graffiti on baby I got the blazer on right now I'm dripping to death I'll just show you you know you can't look at that I, yeah I'm about to go out to dinner and laser with some black Black jeans, and I'm telling you, when you, it's all about walking into a room and just knowing that you look good, especially as a woman. Um, I went through this with uh, on the show Ready to Love. It's so funny because I wore on one of my dates. I had on this fitted dress. I had on a fitted dress, and I was, you know, I thought I was everything, honey. And I got so many comments on, you know, Tang Shatavi, you feel like you have to wear this tight dress, and you feel like you don't you know you on a date. And I, what I say to people is listen when i go on a date when i go anywhere i dress for me okay i yeah. dress for whatever makes me feel good i'm not doing it for him i'm not doing it for nobody else for, but me and that's what we need to understand when we're going out here it's not about embracing a trend it's not about trying to be somebody else it's about being who you are and embracing who you are and once yeah. you understand and start to love yourself you can wear whatever you want to wear and you can walk into that room and be like oh my gosh she is bomb that's the part. That's the part right there. It's about the self-love. Yeah. I think there's nothing wrong with expressing that self-love through the garments that you adorn your body with. And I'm telling you, like I said, I am a fan of the Hourglass uh, boutique and lifestyle. Amazing quality, beautiful fit. And as she mentioned, she has something for everyone. So whether you want to be sexy, if you want to kill it in the boardroom, if you want to merge the two, that's the place to go. Hourglass is your boutique. So make sure you hit yeah. them up again right here on Instagram at Shop Hourglass, as well as visit shophourglass.com. Yes. Shatava, I appreciate you. Yes. Just make sure y'all follow and, and give me your feedback on the collection. Everybody, make sure you check it out again. Like she said, it's shophourglass.com. All of the custom items are on the custom portion of the website. And the boutique items are on the boutique. That's why we're Hourglass Custom and Boutique. But just check it out and let me know your thoughts about it. Let me know some things that I can do different. I try to drop two collections a year. I got something else cooking that I'm working on. But let me know your thoughts about it. And follow us at Shop Hourglass. Sis said 2020 ain't over yet. <laughs> it ain't over yet. Listen, we still cranking this thing. I, I just left Detroit and they closed. They closing Detroit down. I was saying, honey, let me hop on a plane right now and get to Atlanta. Well, yeah. I can go please breathe and not, you know, <laughs> this is crazy. You never know what's going to happen this year. This year has thrown us for so many loops, I swear. For sure. No, it really has. But I'm so inspired by you and, and those of us who've been able to continue to push ahead. You know, I, I definitely understand everyone has had different circumstances. I don't want to be insensitive to that. Um, but if you could have kept pushing, um, I hope that you figured out how to. What I've learned from Shatava today is keep learning. You are a continuous student. You are always teaching yourself. You are never too comfortable with where you are. And I definitely understand that to be a true key to success. So again, it was a pleasure catching up with you today, doll. Thank you again so much for all of your support. Um, and I'm always going to be right here in your corner cheering you on. So thank you so much.
Well, I appreciate you so, so, so much. And I support everything you do. So you keep going. You keep out here killing in this media game because you're doing such a good job and you're so beautiful in the process. Thank you, love. Until right. next time, this was Bobby Pins Artist Spotlight. I'm going to tell y'all one more time. Ladies, go get your drip, whether it's custom or from the boutique, at shophourglass.com. And you can save 15% when you use code BobbyPins. So go ahead and look that up. Get fly. The holidays are coming up. You can look fresh in your Zoom for the Thanksgiving yeah. dinner. Go get your graffiti drip. <laughs> that part, some greens and some drip, honey. <laughs> Have a good one, Queen. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.